Another cool feature that Hystrix provides is the ability to display data in a dashboard. It's commonly referred to as the Hystrix dashboard. The idea is you add a bunch of uh, binaries to your class path. And what that does is provide kind of like a web application with a display of what are the different circuit breakers you have in your system, what are the circuits that are open, what are the circuits that are closed, the number of requests that are coming in, the number of timeouts that are happening. You get all that information in a visual format, which is essential when you're supporting a large multi microservice application. So there are a couple of ways in which you can set up a Hystrix dashboard. You can even either set it up on a single application or you can set it up as a separate uh, app on its own uh, you know that's monitoring a cluster. So you can either set up each application containing its own Hystrix dashboard, or you can set up an external application, which is the dashboard for multiple other microservices. I'm gonna set this up for a single application right now, but then you can look up how we can scale it to multiple applications. You use something called Turbine to set up a Hystrix dashboard for a cluster of microservices. But let's start small. What I wanna do is add the Hystrix dashboard to our movie catalog application, which has a Hystrix and which has circuit breakers. So what are the steps to do this? There are a bunch of steps actually. First, I'm gonna go add the Hystrix dashboard binaries into the pom.xml. So what I'm gonna do is open the movie catalog service into the pom.xml, and here I'm gonna add a couple of binaries actually. So first dependency is uh, Spring Cloud Starter Netflix Hystrix dashboard. And then the second dependency that I'm gonna add is the Spring Boot Starter Actuator. The Spring Boot Starter Actuator is not specifically required just for the Hystrix dashboard. There are a bunch of other features that it provides, even if you're not using the Hystrix dashboard. It provides some data that you can use uh, and learn about the microservice and the way it's running. Uh, one use of it is for the Hystrix dashboard. So I'm gonna add these two binaries, these two dependencies to my pom.xml. That's step one. Step two is to open uh, my application class, which is the movie catalog service application. I'm gonna add an annotation at the application class called enable Hystrix dashboard. What this does is make this application a Hystrix dashboard application in addition to what it's already doing. So it's kind of like this doubles as a web application which serves the Hystrix dashboard. Again, this is one of the two ways in which you can do this. If you wanna have an external Hystrix dashboard, you would do that for an external app uh, and not to an existing microservice app. This is what you would likely do in production and that external app uh, can be configured to listen to Hystrix information from various different other uh, microservices which have circuit breakers. So this is step two in this case. We're gonna be uh, repurposing the movie catalog app as a Hystrix dashboard app. So I'm just gonna add that annotation in here. That's step two. Step three is to open the application of properties and add this property here, uh, which is something that I copy pasted from a source on the internet. Without this, the Hystrix dashboard does not work. So what I'm doing here is I'm providing and exposing an endpoint in my application, which streams the Hystrix data. So I'm exposing an endpoint called Hystrix.stream, which is where the Hystrix data is gonna be streamed. And that's what the Hystrix dashboard is gonna do, is gonna to use to show this Hystrix information, all right? So I'm gonna add this property in here. And with this, we are done. We can restart this application. Go to the URL, the application colon port slash Hystrix, and you should be able to see this UI. This UI gives you an opportunity to enter a URL which can be either a cluster or a single Hystrix app. So you see here I'm adding the URL for the single Hystrix app and the app colon port is basically the same app. It's localhost colon 8081. And before I click monitor stream here, what I'm gonna do is collect some data. So what I'm gonna do is access the app over here. I'm just gonna copy the URL and access the main app you know, refresh a bunch of times so that a bunch of calls go through. And now if I click on the monitor stream button, I'm going to get this Hystrix dashboard. So it's basically the same stream uh, that we have exposed, but now we have uh, data coming in as I refresh this, I should be able to see that data in the Hystrix dashboard. So here you can see a bunch of data here. The first thing that you see is the circuit section, 
which talks about all the different circuit breakers that we have, we have two. We have the get catalog item and get user rating. The circuits are closed right now because we haven't ex encountered a timeout. You can see the number of requests that are going into each uh, microservice, the number of times these things are being accessed. And you can also see the median performance of these microservices. You can see the time it's taking in milliseconds for the 90th percentile, the 99th percentile, and the 99.5th percentile. You also see information about the thread pools. So here you can see that the pool size is 10. And then uh, you have more information about how many of them are active and all that good stuff. So this is the Hystrix dashboard and this is how you can get access to it in an application which has uh, Hystrix already enabled. Uh, you can also, like I said, configure this in an external application, which I'm not gonna cover, but this is an additional feature that Hystrix provides. Not only does it implement the circuit breaker, it also implements this dashboard, which provides a nice visual and uh, data about how your circuit breakers are doing in a, in a deployed environment.